Yep. When I look on YouTube, there's tons of these low impact videos with people doing really wafty exercises. Tell you what, does that do anything for you, Andrew? Does it? Yes, no. That doesn't do anything for you. So, the exercise we're going to demo today, just four exercises which you can build into an exercise program, all have a good effect because they're all multi joint, big muscle exercises. So, my name's Glenn Hill from iTrain Hard Health and Fitness. Andrew from Valentine's Fitness. So, uh, we're going to break down all four exercises, show you the easy and harder variation. Then I'm going to explain how you can use it as a workout. First exercise, Andrew, we're going to do um, a deep squat. So not a squat, jump, a deep squat. Feet about shoulders apart there, they're about slightly wide if you need. Chest up, head up, sink back into that imaginary chair. The bones want to move back first. As you can see there, nice and low. Nice and low on the squat. All the way down, back up. No impact. safe exercise. Pretty well done. The next one then, we're going to go for press-ups. We're going to go for a wide press-up, open the angle out to get all the chest working. So a nice wide arm press-up. I'm going to show you the, the hard version and then an easier version as well. As you can see there then, all the way down to the ground, back up. Pivoting from the ankle, the bum's not sticking up high in the air, the core's engaged, the glutes are engaged to work lots of muscles not just the chest. So that's a harder variation there. The easier variation, so it could be a bit of a regression for you, is on the knees, going all the way down, back up. As, again, though, the bum is not sticking high up in the air. It's on the knees, all the way down, back up. Big chest exercise, nice wide grip on there. All the way down, back up. Good, so we've done a leg exercise there. We've done uh, a core exercise there. So a leg exercise, a chest exercise. Now we're going to go for a core exercise. So we're going to do here a slow scissor kick. Most core exercises you see done have some form of impact or they're very fast. This one here is really slow. As you can see there, the hands come back to engage the top of the core. Both legs, just even slower. And this one's nice and slowly. One leg's always got to be up, one leg's always down. What that'll do is stabilize the lower back. At any one time, Andrew's lower back should be on the floor. So it's nice and high up this one. Start high, the lower back's flat on the floor, then change the upper leg. So a really slow exercise. When done properly, when done slowly, it's a very good exercise. Because these hands are going back here, you feel it in your core there, top of the core as well? So the core's all engaged, nice slow exercise. Again, no impact. So a good leg exercise with a squat, big, big movements. A press up, big, big movements. And a nice core exercise there, slow scissor kick. The final exercise then is a slow mountain climber. So we adopt that press up position. Adopt that press up position. Again, core engaged, glutes engaged for the start position. You can rock forward slightly at the shoulders if you need to. Then we're going to bring one knee up, like a mountain climber, slowly, as far as you can. Obviously your body shape and the way your body moves is going to dictate this. And take the leg as high as you can. Taking that leg, And we're working the lower, the lower back and the glutes, the posterior chain. We're bringing that, that bum nice and high. That's your four exercises there then. A deep squat, a mountain climber, a slow mountain climber, a press up, a slow scissor kick. We need to do those exercises 30 seconds per exercise. So do 30 seconds, doing the exercise to the best of your ability, the best of your technique, all the way down, all the way up, working full range of movement every single time. Once you've completed all four exercises, so that's two minutes, have a 30 second break, repeat all four exercises, have one more 30 second break, and again repeat all four exercises. Therefore, you're working for six minutes on big movements 
with enough rest to recharge your nervous system and therefore your muscles. That's our session, a six minute workout with a minute break in between. Um, hope you like that, that workout. Um, please check out my website, itrainhard.co.uk and also Bannertine's website if you want to as well. <laughs> and check out the rest of my videos on YouTube under Glen Hill. Any comments, Andrew? Oh, good. good. Cheers, thank you.